picking up right where I left off in the last video. We were at 35 yards splitting pills with the Gauntlet 30. Now we're at 70 yards. The wind is crazy, it's still freezing out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this off, but I'm gonna try. So, I guess we'll just see how this goes. Once again, I have three pills down there on golf tees in a vise. A target behind it, so I can see where I'm missing. I'm gonna crank this up. I got blue golf tees, yellow pills, so I can see it a little bit better. All right, let's go for the right side first. My anxiety is killing me right now. My breathing is so messed up. I get nervous for these videos. I'm gonna go hair to the left. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, so two got knocked over. Let me go for that left one. I cannot believe that did not hit. That must have like just shaved the pill. That is crazy. Well, I definitely hit something. I'm pretty sure the T is not in the vice anymore. Let's go see what happened to those other two. It looked like one fell out and then knocked the other one over. So I think I got one. We'll have to check. I'm going to reset the two and come back. All right. This one was fun. This thing disappears in one frame. So that's all I got out of that. I really need to get a nice slow-mo camera, but the cool thing I like about this, once the pill gets hit, this T over here gets shifted a little bit, but it actually doesn't even fall off. thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> wow, that thing just got obliterated though. This is going to be funny when I review the footage because I have no idea what just happened. There was a pill on the vise. I think I just shot the T and it went flying and the pill just went and fell on the vise. Either that or the one that tipped over, that's what was there. I just can't tell. Hopefully the footage will show what happened because I don't really know. That's my guess. All right, so I got two back up there. Let's go for that right one again. Eh, let's go for the middle. That was high. Decently high and right. Same pill. I know I just hit that. That thing just exploded down there. This one was a little more rough on the tee. We got a little permanent bend in it. <laughs> that other pill wanted to fly out in the right. But at least we made it there so far. Let me reenact this with some sweet SFX. Ricochet for Stony. All right, that was spectacular. Let's go for that last one. I think I just pulled that a little bit high, but it was dead on. Knock on wood. Well, that wasn't wood, but 15 to 20 mile an hour winds don't really seem to be affecting this too much. Hair to the left. I think that just went up and to the right. I'm gonna put one more shot down there, or maybe two, because there's only two left in this tin. I can't even tell if that pill is still on there. It's very hard to see now that I have the yellow and the target popping up. All right, let me do one more. I'm gonna go down there and check. I might have hit it, I'm not sure. I don't think I did, but I might have. I don't know. I think I hit the T. Let me hit that middle T and see if I can pop it. That was awesome. Let me go down there and check and see what happened. Then we'll wrap this up. So all I know is I split the T so far. I have to review the footage. Let's see how the footage came out. You probably already saw it by now. And I'm going to find out if I have to repeat this or not. So. We will go from there. Let's see what happened to the pill first. It turned into another spring. <laughs> Just launched the pill. I don't understand how it does that without breaking too. All right, so that thing went to the stratosphere. Let's see the golf tee. So we have a hit right here. 
assuming that must have been the slug. But then the T goes towards me. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> what the hell? All right, let's see what happened to the last one I split. It just threw itself through the target, is my guess. I need a slow-mo camera. Okay. See ya. <laughs>